Uh, hey guys, back here with another video today, um, and again, we're going to be looking at the multi-disc support for the uh, Provenance emulator, and again, um, I'm just, I, I, I was just trying this morning, and I noticed that there was also another error uh, with Provenance, so there's, um, you know, you can go to the privacy uh, trust um, and try it out again, but it looks, it looks like you're unable to uh, verify the app, so again, what we're going to have to do is we're going to just reinstall it, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to um, reinstall uh, it from the App Valley uh, URL. So again, um, if you go to my previous video, I do have all the links posted. So that way you guys can uh, take a look and see um, how you get it and installed. And again, I'm going to move a little bit faster in this video because again, um, if you've seen my previous video, you'll know that um, you'll know all these steps ahead of time already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it again. And it looks like based on this installation, um, there's there's two there's two versions of it. So I'm assuming the old one that I was using must have just been outdated or something. So the so if you guys follow the link and follow the instructions from my previous video, it shouldn't matter. But again, it looks like the one I had before uh, was outdated, unfortunately. So that's, uh, yeah, sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. Um, it is what it is in this circumstance here. Uh, so again, privacy issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly uh, hit the trust and then we can... Uh, um, verify it through that way and uh, and there we have it so it's good to go so now we can run it perfect so now if you watch my previous video the next step is to get the BIOS involved so we want to allow the um, the BIOS files into the uh, Provenance app so that way you can get the emulation going on so again I've downloaded this ahead of time already and this is pretty standard um, again watch my previous video I've saved it onto this folder here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna open it all up in um, in the new app here and I'm hoping when I do this installation that uh, that uh, that error an error pops up so I can show you guys how to figure out the BIOS error sometimes um, for some reason when you're installing it onto the app um, you might get a an, an error that pops up saying you don't have the BIOS um, in the correct folder so again it's pretty straightforward all you have to do is reset and re uh, basically re um, re-extract it to a different part of the uh, files so again we're just gonna um, we're gonna be patient here we're gonna open it up and again we're gonna um, see now there's two of those um, that might be a little more difficult to deal with so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, close it let's see I think yeah so again now we've got the one going on perfect so now um, you're gonna wait to extraction and then you're gonna go back to 5501 um, same sort of dealio there. And yeah, so now we're going to run it. And perfect. So now um, now we've got the BIOS in there. So that's easy. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to get the games. So again, I was talking to you guys about in the previous video about multi-disc support. So again, I'm using uh, LOD here, Legend of Dragoon, as an example. Because again, um, it's a four-disc game. And I don't believe, correct me if I'm wrong, if you guys know a game that's got more than four discs uh, for PS, um, please let me know. Because again, from what I understand, I believe four is the limit there. So again, um, great game, solid uh, JRPG. So if you guys are into that sort of thing, definitely check it out. And again, that's the, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get some publicity for it here. So um, again, there's some error with it. So now we're going to take a look at what's going on. Um, it says there's an error with the BIOS. Perfect. So this is exactly what I was talking to you guys about. Um, I was hoping this error would pop up because again, um, what it's saying is one of the BIOS files that we downloaded didn't get into the proper file. So pretty quick fix. All we're going to do is we're going to run back into the WinZip, WinZip um, area. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go through the BIOS folders. And then I believe it's 5501. And what we're going to do is we're just going to save it uh, under Files and then Provenance. And we're, we're going to save it under, uh, let's see here, uh, Provenance uh, PSX. Perfect. So that's where we're going to save it. 
And we're going to give her another shot here. And it's, I don't know why it's uh, it's freezing. So what we're going to do is we're, gonna, we're just going to close it. Um, something's going on. We're just going to close it. Sometimes uh, it's, an, it's an app. It glitches out. It's a little odd. Um, we're just going to run it again. Yep. So it's still not good. So now, same thing. We're going to go to the BIOS. Um, we're going to go to 5501. We're going to hit probably this. And there we go. Oh, dumb ads. Okay. And let's see how we're doing. Extraction complete. And okay, what the heck? Okay, now, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did it right now. Okay, now it's kind of okay. I'm gonna just close it, reopen, see how that works. Nope, nope. Uh, what is going on here? Okay, oh my gosh, these ads. <laughs> okay, okay, we're just gonna, okay, just you know, calm down, you know, relax. Let's see what's going on. So, uh, 5501. Oh, wait, maybe. Hold on, give me two seconds, guys. Maybe I've been putting it in the wrong folder here. Let me just see. Uh, 50 minutes still missing. Oh, no. What is going on? Okay. My apologies, guys. Um, Yeah, it looks like we're just having a little bit of a, a, little bit of a troubleshooting error here. Uh, I'm just going to have a look. Go back here. Oh, maybe. Oh, I think I'm supposed to put in the BIOS. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. Yes, okay. Let, now let's try this out. All right. Perfect. Now that's great. So that's great. Now it's telling us it's we, we aren't able to load the game. So yeah, so now um, what we can do is um, what we can do is uh, now we can actually start getting those ROMs. So perfect. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, download some ROMs. So again, I've already got it all downloaded because I didn't want to waste your guys' time. But the difference here is you just got to know is um, there's a uh, there's four different CDs, so each file um, in this uh, zip is gonna have a, a CUE file, and essentially what you want to do is you want to make sure those CUE files are all linked to a README file um, that's got um, that's got uh, M3U on there. So again, um, uh, you want to make sure there's an M3U file, and as you've seen above there, I'll quickly show you guys again here. Um, you want to make sure the M3U file is located with the four CDs. So again, I'm just gonna select it here so you guys can see it on the screen. And again, we wanna make sure there's an M3U file associated with it. Basically what the file does is it allows it to switch between the disks. So that way, um, that way it's not gonna be trying to figure out what's going on. Why are you guys like switching disks between this and that? So again, the file helps connect the, the, the CDs together. And that way when you're emulating, um, that's how you can translate from one disk to the other disks. So again, um, what we're going to do is we're going to run this on the uh, emulator. So put it all together. I've already done that, um, the import of files app. I've already got it all set down there. And then I'm going to run it. And it's going to be a big file. So we're just going to let that load for a bit. All right. So while it's loading here, and again, like I said um, in my previous video, um, if this seems pretty confusing to you guys on how you get the ROMs or how you guys are um, installing App Valley, that sort of thing, um, the f initial video that I had posted goes a bit slower and the pace, so that way you guys can kind of um, see what I'm doing. And again, this video is quite uh, quite a bit quicker because again, I want to show you guys um, how to get the multi-disc set up on there so you can play more than uh, just a one-disc game because again, most PlayStation games are going to have more than one disc because back then um, discs didn't have that much storage space. So essentially they had to put it on multiple discs such as Final Fantasy and in this example, um, LOD. Um, so again, oops. Uh, so we're just going to put that all as uh, PS. So that way the game recognizes that. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, that's odd. Okay. Yeah. Save sleep. Stopped. Okay. Okay, I failed to load. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, it should have worked. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, all right, all right. What's going on here? Uh, okay, no, I got all the I got all the files. They're all there. Um, I'm just gonna close it quickly just to see if that helps. Maybe it, sometimes it takes. Sometimes closing it helps refresh it. And again, it's not working. Okay, so. So yeah, let's troubleshoot this, you guys. Um, let's see. So we've got all the four CDs there. Um, yeah, I just gotta get a minute here to think about this. I'm pretty sure. 
uh, I put all the four CDs in there and uh, I've got the M3U file and I've double checked it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to re-zip it. Um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, let's see, should I click on that one? No, that's the whip. No, that's not right either. Okay. Um, g give me two seconds here, guys. I just got to check my notes. I'm just quickly checking it over right now. And obviously... Um, I'm recording this as I go, so right now I'm kind of on the spot here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract and see what we can take a look at in the inside of that uh, in the inside of that folder. Bear with me here, you guys. I'm pro I apologize again. Um, we're just going to take a look. Um, sometimes during the extraction process, some of the files might be mismatched or they mis might be misnamed, and that might link that might not link up with some of the CUE files. So that sometimes um, might be um, that also might be uh, one of the uh, um, culprits as well in this situation so let's have a look and see um, so again um, oh and there we go that's the problem right there so I've got m3u on there um, so we got to make sure we take out the two because again um, that file can't be read as a disk 2 um, 3mu we've got to we've got to change that all right, so all right, perfect. I think that's good to go. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we are just gonna recompress it, and that should be uh, that should hopefully be the answer to this uh, small little issue. So we're just gonna give it a couple minutes here, um, and in the meantime, while it's compressing again. Um, so whatever game you download, um, I'll attach the link there as well to show you guys the directions. But but again, you want to make sure that all the disks are named the same. And obviously, the only difference between the naming should be disk 2, disk 3, disk 4. So that way, it can easily um, transfer between the disks. And then you want to make a an M3U file that basically has all the disks into the file name. So that way, it can easily switch between um, those different disks because, again, um, back in the old days, uh, PlayStation made several games with multi-disc support, and again, um, they didn't have enough space on the game, so that's why there was multiple games, multiple discs, that sort of thing. So that's why they had multiple discs um, for each game, such as Final Fantasy and, in this case, LOD. And um, in order for the emulator to kind of bounce between disc 1, disc 2, disc 3, or disc back to disc 4, um, it needs a way to kind of read the discs. So that readme file, when you create it, it's an M3U file, and it will help basically the emulator kind of juggle between those tasks and help it decide um, if you want to go to disk 3 or disk 2, then it has a way to read it. Because again, if we just throw four disks in there randomly, it's not going to be able to decide how it's getting there. So again, um, we're going to extract it over. All right, we're going to open that up. And I'm just closing everything. Nice refresh. Perfect. So now it's the imported app we see there, and we're going to re-extract it over to Provenance. Okay, so now there you guys have it. So now once this archives and extracts, we should be good to go um, if this uh, everything goes according to plan. It seems like in this particular video we've ran into several errors, but that's great because, um, again, I've looked online and there doesn't appear to be too many YouTube videos on troubleshooting these problems. So again, either you're crafty and you're looking through the web for it, or um, or you know you're gonna have to just basically uh, troubleshoot it yourself and figure out just like uh, as we were doing here in this video. So um, all right, so it's almost done there. <laughs> okay. All right, she's going pretty good. All right, perfect. So extraction archive looks like it's coming to an end. So it should hopefully be done here. All right, um, still failing to load. Okay, now I am just absolutely baffled. Um, I'm gonna re-extract it again. Oh, I don't know why that was, oops, let's go to it. Okay, we're gonna put it as PlayStation. And again, we're gonna just see what's going on here. This one. Let's see, extracting archive. 
Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So now I do see this loading here, so that's a good thing. And we're just trying to figure out why this is not working either. Okay, swap disks. Okay, now we're going to try this out again. And hopefully this will be the final problem. Okay. That should be... That should do it, you guys. Okay, perfect. So now we can run the game. All right, perfect. So the game is, um, yeah, all right. So, I mean, we did go through a little bit of hiccups here and there, but again, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's all part of the process.